Hi everyone, my name is Jen and I am going to be cooking for you. I'm going to teach you how to make guacamole today. Who doesn't love guacamole? I love avocados. L-O-V-E, -E, avocados. So you need an avocado, an onion, some tomato, a little bit of good old salt and pepper, and lemon juice. You can use a lemon. I'm just lazy and prefer lemon juice, so I bought this. First off, you need a bowl, empty one, look at that, and avocado. When you go to the store, the best way to check if your avocado is ripe is it has a little bit of give when you touch it. It's kind of cool. Here's the top of it, and how you can tell is when you pop it off, how beautifully green. This right here determines the ripeness of the inside. So take this, and we're going to cut it in half. So I just like to like this, and use it to go around. So I turn it twist on each side, and ta-da! Perfect avocado. How I take out the seed is I take the knife and I kind of play off or I puncture it. Kids, don't try this at home. You would need a adult supervision if you're like young. But see, it comes out right like that. Here, I'm gonna cross hatch my avocado. Also, don't do this if you are nervous or scared or anything. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this on the palm of your hand. We just take it and just create a cross hatch effect and cut inside like this to make cubes. Ah, what? Look at that cube effect. Take a spoon and scoop it out into your bowl. Like that, and then I put it into the bowl. So here I have no more avocado, but ta-da, it's in the bowl. So we're gonna do that to the other side. And there you have it. The hardest part of the guacamole. And the best part, after I have that, I'm gonna take my lemon juice. Now if you have a lemon, I would only do maybe half a lemon or maybe a quarter and add as you go. I'm going to take this and I'm just gonna eyeball it. And this lemon juice here, ooh, all right. I think that's enough. All right, one more, just wait. Ooh, great. So here, I'm just gonna mix it real fast. The avocado is coated well with the lemon juice. What is it? The lemon juice is here to soften up the avocado while I prepare the other ingredients. And it also prevents the avocado from browning because who wants to eat brown avocados? Not me. Let's move on to the tomatillos, tomatoes. And I'm gonna cut them into four. Yeah, cut that, cut that. All right, maybe eighths. I want the tomatoes to be bite size. So then I get this. Ta-da. All right, and then you take them and you plop it into your avocado mixture. Like, bam. Woo! We can also now give this a nice stir. And you want all of the liquids from the tomato in here too, so that we can get a nice consistency for the guacamole. We cut up our last ingredient, which is an onion. Mmm. Great. This is like a perfect mix for my avocado. And we put all of this in here. Whoop. Whoop. Now that we have our nice little avocado mixture. We're going to taste it with some salt. One, two, three. If you don't like pepper, you can make this as well. One, two, three. Now, we'll just take this and we'll just, this is chunky guacamole. You can stop here if you'd like, but you basically just keep going at it. Oh, this is so beautiful. You can add anything you like. So sometimes, if I like to go the extra mile, I like to roast some roasted. I like to roast some peppers and then cut them up and put them in here. It gives a nice. Oh, it's a really great taste. Don't forget to taste it. You have to taste it so that you know what's next. So. Mmm. This is perfect. We can plate it to make it look beautiful, right? So I'm gonna take it. Look at this guacamole. This is looking banging with a few simple ingredients. Most of the things that you should have at home. Mmm. Look at this. And here, my friends, is guacamole. Oh, yeah. That's some good ass guacamole.